All right. So if you're traveling to Panama City, what we're going to do is we're going to rate some beachfront homes in Panama City. Now, I am in Panama right now with my family of five. And uh, so what you want to do first is, uh, of course, you're just going to check your date. But let's just say you're coming next month. It's better. You get better prices if you, like, you know, book further out. Okay. So that says check in. Uh, I guess we'll just go ahead with this. But we want to match it. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. All right. So two adults, let's say you guys are just a couple or something like that. And then we're going to say filters. And we want, I guess for you guys, since you're just a couple, we'll say any type of room. And we're going to say a two bedroom. We'll just say a two bedroom. Matter of fact, we'll leave the bedrooms alone. And we want... It can be any one of those, but it needs to be beachfront. It needs to have AC. We want to have kitchen, okay? We want the option. Never mind. That took everything away. So <laughs> we'll leave that alone as well, okay? Language, none of that stuff matters. Definitely need Wi-Fi, okay? And what you want to do, guys, is you want to pick places near landmarks and things to do okay so i don't know you guys budget but if it's just to you guys if it's a special occasion you might want to go all out right but if it's you know if you just like chilling or whatever then you might want to go over here to the filters and put your budget again but we're going to leave the budget alone and this time we just want to check out what these look like and we're going to pick one based off of reviews okay this is going to be fun. Okay, so entire service department in Panama City, Panama. Let's hop down real quick. I have uh, 10 reviews. Very comfortable. Good apartment. Very peaceful. This person gave three, uh, but it's a positive review. <laughs> That's crazy. Anyway, all right. Eh, I don't really like that one too much. Okay, let's open this one up. And this is for if you guys are staying an entire month. You can put it for like a week if it's just you two. All right, this one is a bed, one bedroom. And it's $196 a night. Let's see why it's so high price. Let's check it out. Let's see what it looked like, baby. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty damn good. Oh, snap. You can say that you can almost not beat that view. Oh, ooh, ooh, we got to go back to the tub. Now, I don't know how much traveling you guys do in South America or Central America, but there's not many tubs, you understand, unless it's Americanized. So you might want to take that into consideration. So this is where you'll be at. Pretty nice place. Pretty nice place. But let's move on. But like I said, you want to pick places that are near landmarks or things to do. All right, and I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. So once we pick one, that's when we'll go ahead and see if it's something to do around them areas. I don't even like this one. I don't like this one. But they got a tub, too. I like that, so it'll give it a little bit of extra points. Okay, let's see if we can find one just right off the bat. That's crazy. Look at this one. I got to check it out. See why it costs that damn much. Okay. Let's see. You got the ocean view. They just like make you pay for the location. I need to see how good it looked though. Okay. All right. Yeah, that looks nice. I love the spiral light. That is, that's pretty creative. The balcony game is nice. That kitchen kind of young though. But I got the gut fridge, the double doors, and the gut. I call this the gut down here. <laughs> All right, I got the breast and the gut right there. Okay, nice little cutting board right there on the. Yeah, we good. This is this is decent. This is decent. Do I think it's four eighty one? Yeah, that's pretty nice right there. Looks very spacious. 
Hold on, is that a okay? That's a stand up shower, no tub, washer and dryer. That's cool. Mm. They losing points because they ain't even got the. How the other one that was cheaper have a tub, and this one is way more expensive with no tub. It's still in the same place too. Still in the same place. A lot of these apartments are getting hip to Airbnb. Like you know what, man? Okay, so this is just you guys. Look at this one, fifty three a night and this is just based off if it's just a couple like i have my whole family of five out here so you guys would want to pick you know something more like this maybe this has three bedrooms too bad this is actually a deal let's see the reviews man <sighs> only one review that's probably why they're keeping the price low uh i don't know what's up out here they don't have carbon monoxide protectors for some reason but let's see let's look at the pictures the photos remind me of something in california but it got a, a pool that you can check out right across the street hmm. it ain't too fancy but it's 53 bucks a night y'all you know what i'm saying 53 bucks a night and it has enough room for for, for three people you hear me like i mean it's a, a three bedroom so that's if you want to just be modest but if you're trying to go all out then I showed you some. Here's a villa right here, too. Check this out. Let's check it out. Fun oceanfront villa in the front. Yes, Lord. Okay. That's what it looked like at night. Man, sparkly. I'm feeling that. That's making me thirsty. Can I get some crystal light tonight? Yes, Lord. Okay, we got a Samsung fridge. They love that pool. They know that's the highlight. <laughs> We don't need that. Okay, start showing us more of the house. What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay, we need to see inside the house. Are we sleeping outside or something? Come on. What is going on? We didn't have one picture on the inside of it. Are we staying outside? Did I not read this? Ah, no wonder. <laughs> we had the dun, 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 dun music because... The inside of the house ain't that impressive. So they just wanted to show you like, yeah, ain't nobody finna do that one, bro. No, baby. All right, let's see what else they got over here. This one is 50 a night. Uh, but you got to stay. That's, yeah, that's a room. That's just a room. This is a dang on shipping container. They crazy as hell. People can put whatever they want to on Airbnb. This one is a room, two fifty five a night. Why are you charging that high for a, a, a room? That's crazy. People be making bank off of just a room. Like, dude, I don't even get to get no privacy. <sighs> okay, so we're going to find one, guys. We're not done. Okay, that's a pretty nice view. I like that. I like that. This is decent. Nothing to brag about, but it's spacious. You got a decent. Okay, I like this little seat right here. <laughs> so close to the bed, you might as well just still sit in the bed, right? Okay. 12 pictures. How much is this one again? Uh, Entire condo, two fifteen dollars a night. You'll be paying about four k. dollars mm. Two bedroom, two bath. It might be a little bit much for just a couple, you know, but for a family, it might be decent. I don't know. Let's try one, a couple more. We got one, two, three. And then the rest of those are rooms. Okay, so we ain't staying in no shipping container. I don't know about y'all, but I ain't trying to wake off, wake, wake up off the coast of uh, 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 freaking New Zealand somewhere or something. Like, did y'all see that movie with uh, where, the, where the lady was like stuck in a shipping container and she gave birth and stuff? Ain't nobody having that. Uh-uh. Okay, so we got that. This is cool. At least we know I got AC game in there. Yeah, this is decent. Uh, it's modest, but oh, we got an electric stove. I mean, I ain't like you got to pay gas bills anyway. And it got a tub. Ooh. Okay, okay. I see a washer and dryer game in the same building. Damn, like they making bank. They putting everything on Airbnb. That's the easiest way to rent stuff now. And it's just a one bedroom, one bath. I don't know. That's a little bit too high for a one bedroom, one bath. We might have to come back to that one. We'll keep that open. So let's open this one. Please don't be the same. 
please don't be the same damn apartment building. One bedroom, one. Oh, no, nah, this one is just a private room, y'all. See, we got to pay attention. Okay, we need where it says entire house. So we got this one. It is rented, comfortable house on corner furnished with, I don't know why they be titling stuff like this, man. Okay, so this is entire vacation home. Okay, so pay attention. This entire home. Relax with the whole family, a group of friends. So this is my kind of kind of stuff, my kind of client. You hear me? Uh <laughs> 374 a night. So I know that might seem high, guys, but what you want to do is you want to come down here and you want to look through here and see that nobody is booking. Nobody is freaking booking yet, right? Then you want to come down here and see that there are no reviews yet, okay? So they really can't be too picky. Right now, their best thing to do as a business owner, because their house is a business owner, they need to start getting some reviews so more people can book. So I'm I'm promising you that you can talk them down. Even though it's a three-bedroom, three-bath, that's actually good. Um, but I would talk them down at least two something, especially if you guys aren't an entire family. You know what I'm saying? But let's look at the pictures. Yeah, got the SpongeBob. Pretty fun, pretty fun. Once again, they're just showing us outside. Okay, we got the old school people furniture with the plastic on it. I feel that. I hear you. Okay, we got the gut fridge. They need to sweep. You see all this stuff on the floor right here? Like, golly, in front of the fridge. Like, what's going on? Sweep before you take pictures, at least. Okay, gas stove. Bunk beds, double beds. Bathrooms, not bad, not bad, not bad. Like I said, I mean, it's a small house and they, they busting heads with the price. But what if I were you, you know, it's not a problem. I would just talk them down. Why? Because they you you might be at a disadvantage as far as the price. They, yeah, we want what we want. No, a lot of people are just posting and hoping. They're posting the price and hoping that somebody will pay that price, <laughs> but not sure. They really don't know what the price of that, guys. It's not like these people are done market research. So you you definitely want to like talk that down. I I try to get like 179 or something like that. Like, check this out. I'll leave you a review that's so freaking awesome that you start having way more people book with you. Right. Or if you're staying a couple months, hey, make negotiate. I'll book two months if you lower it down to 175, whatever, blah, 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 you can do. I don't know your budget, right? Do some stuff like that. Cause I was able to get beachfront, uh uh beachfront real estate. Like <laughs> when I was in Mexico, guys, like I was able to get beachfront real estate for something that was like seven, eight grand, but I made sure that it was it was during hurricane season. <laughs> So if you brave, right, you know, me and my wife, we talked them down all the way to 2400 and it was beautiful. And fortunately, you no know, hurricane wiped us off the map, right? So <laughs> if you know how to negotiate, guys, don't just be taking these prices. Like, oh, man, I can't afford that. There's nothing on Airbnb, please. You find this, where is it at? The contact does button. Where is this contact button? Contact host button. Oh, I'm not logged in. And then you just say, I noticed you have no reviews yet uh, and you're not booked for any of the months, but this place is awesome. I don't know why nobody did it. Maybe it's the price. Uh, let's make a deal. I will book for two months if you take that 374 down to 174. Boom. There you go. Like, I mean, what else they got to lose? You understand what I'm saying? Ain't nobody else booking, right? So... And you have proof. So you have leverage, right? Look at all this crap. Yeah, they tripping, man. So 174 will get you a, a, a nice discount on this, this bull because this is not worth it. You hear me? Like not worth full price, but it's awesome, man. So you have this choice between this one and between this one right here. Views of the Panama Canal. So what you want to do is you want to take uh, well, you already know this one is by the Panama Canal. So you will say, I mean, they're going to give you the actual address when you actually book. 
which is like, oh, snap, it's a little bit too late. <laughs> We're not buying anything, but you can come in here and try to take little notes right here. See, look at this. Okay, Casa Bonita is a one-of-a-kind luxury residence tower in Playa Bonita Village. So there you go. You'll take that and be like, uh, things to do near Playa City Village. Panama City Beach. Here we go. So they actually wrote an article on it. You can read this one from Travelocity. You can read this one from Expedia.com. And, uh, <laughs> and you'll be good, guys. So that is literally how you would go ahead and pick a Panama City Beachfront home. You understand? Uh, with wisdom. Okay? Like I showed you how to negotiate. You know what I'm saying? I showed you how to like pick a place near stuff that you can actually do. It says bike tour, day tours, archaeological sites and different stuff like that. You know, you can have some fun, guys. So make a move.